Hi friends, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be using Dollar Tree mini Christmas trees to create beautiful and affordable DIYs for our home. So by the time we're done with this video, you are gonna have tons of ideas to use these mini Christmas trees in your own style, in your own home, on a budget. So let's go on inside and get started. So we're going to start out with these Christmas trees and I'm using some Rust-Oleum spray paint to give it a snowy flocked look. This spray paint gives really good full coverage so if you don't want full coverage on your tree then you're just going to use maybe some Dollar Tree cheapy spray paint and that'll give you less coverage. We're going to start with this oven mitt that I got at Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree Plus section. It was $3 but Walmart also sells a lot of these kind of things in their Christmas decor area. Dollar Tree only had the one style so I kind of wished this was a little bit more like a gingerbread -y style because of the way I end up decorating it but I still think it's super adorable and it's only three dollars so I'm going to use some stuffing I had on hand you could use an old pillow too if you have that this was just some leftover that I have had for quite a while we're going to take these trees. I'm only going to use two. I did spray paint three. We're going to put that one aside for a different project and then we're going to stuff them in there really good. They are not going to move around in your stuffing. If you don't have stuffing you can use pretty much anything. I just didn't want to put floral foam in there in case I gave this away as a gift and someone was going to use the, their hand in there. I got these picks at the Dollar Tree and they are supposed to be a dupe of the uh, popular viral pine trees that are going around. I'll link some from Amazon if you can't find these Dollar Tree ones, uh, but they are pretty nice. You get six in a package for $1.25, and I really liked how they ended up looking in this project. So run out to Dollar Tree if you want to see if you can get them. They were over in the floral area. Then I'm going to take these kind of glittery picks. I love to pick these ones up. These are actual picks in the floral area where the other ones are in a package. They're in the floral area, but you get six in the package. Then I got this cute little uh, ornament from a DI and I'm just going to attach it to the actual tree. Now if I decide to give this as a gift and the person wants to use the actual oven mitt, nothing is glued to the oven mitt so it can be reused. Then I'm going to take these berries and I'm just going to um, clip off a few. This pick is kind of a weird pick. It's like very... Um, dense in the pick like so anyway I just cut off pieces to use them out here and there in projects so I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm just going to glue the berries and some of the picks that are together into our trees spir sporadically um, you can choose to do this or not or you can just get picks actual picks Hobby Lobby has some really cheap ones um, I think they end up being about a dollar and I buy them all the time every year just about because they're so good and you can use them in all kinds of um, different ways and we're going to use one actually later in the video. So once I have those all glued on, then I use this ribbon to tie the little ornament down at the bottom onto the tree. And I decided that I liked it. It was so cute that I made several other bows and I'm just going to glue those sporadically around the tree as well. This is one of those things where you're going to use your judgment on how many or how little you want and where you want them to go. I think it adds some real cuteness to this project. This is one of my favorite favorites from the video. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Would you give this as a gift or would you like to receive this as a gift? Let me know down in the comments. We're going to start out with this grapevine wreath. It's it's a little bit different than like your normal grapevine wreath. It came from Dollar Tree Plus section and it was $5. We're going to take one of the Dollar Tree Christmas trees and we're going to unravel the Christmas tree. So if you didn't know, if you take the bottom off of your Christmas tree, it is wrapped together with this weird looking green um, like mesh fabric-y type 
thing you can see off to the left here and if you start unraveling that all the pieces of your tree will fall off from this metal piece we're going to take all the pieces and use them as picks into our wreath so one of the reasons i really love these wreaths from dollar tree plus section is the grapevine pieces are really tightly put together and you can stick your picks and stuff into them and you never need any hot glue now these greenery pieces, they're not super sturdy like they would be if you bought an actual pick, but I was able to get them into the greenery and it worked just fine. I did not use any hot glue on the greenery or wreath part to stick them into the wreath. So I'm gonna use all the pieces from our one Christmas tree and we're gonna go and put them in the entire wreath. Now I didn't flock this one or put any snowy pieces on because the other parts of the wreath already had snowy features and so I liked the look of the greenery by itself but you could add a snowy feature to this if you wanted. I took this bird from another pick from a Dollar Tree and I just glued it to the bottom of our wreath. Now my ribbon came from a Dollar General a few years ago, but I love to buy Christmas ribbon at Dollar General. You get a lot of variety and their ribbon is pretty inexpensive for the quality and um, just the pictures that they have on the ribbon. So we're gonna glue the two ends of this bow together to make kind of a bow tie shape. And then we're gonna take our twine and we're going to cinch it in the middle and tie it into a knot. So we have created a bow tie shape. Once I have that all cut and set up and fluffed up, we're going to take two more pieces of ribbon to make the hangy parts of the bow. If those have a name, let me know in the comments because I could just not remember what that was called. So once I have the two pieces together, I cinch them together doing the same technique as the bow tie using twine and tying it off. So I have this one piece that goes together to hang down. Then I'm going to take my bow tie piece, I'm going to lay it into the middle, and I'm going to use another piece of twine to tie that together. The reason I like the way this bow looks as opposed to just doing the typical method while you cinch all of the ribbon together and tie it off is you get a much wider bow for this and it looks a little bit more elegant and classy. So we're going to take the bottoms and we're going to go ahead and dovetail. You don't have to if you don't want to, that's a preference, but it looks a little bit more classy with the dovetail look. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little space in between here. I attached the ribbon to the wreath with another piece of twine and then here's that Hobby Lobby pick I love to pick up for a dollar. We're going to glue that into the middle and that is it for this project. I love it. Let me know what you guys think about this one. The lights up just for you. You're the only one who can make my dreams come true. I could see the end until he looked my way. I used to be blue. For this project I picked up a winter hat at Dollar Tree. I was just happened to be walking by and I was like, ooh, that would fit in great with this video. So this was sort of an afterthought, but turned out to be like one of my very favorite of this video. So you never know when you're walking by, inspiration hits you. So we're going to take this hat and I just removed all the pieces and then I'm taking some floral foam and I'm going to place it inside the hat. I just had some leftover pieces. So these are two pieces that are cut off from one of those long pieces of floral foam in the Dollar Tree floral area. I didn't glue them together or anything. It's tight enough in the knit hat that you don't really need to. I took two Christmas trees and I stuck them into the floral foam inside the hat. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fluff out the trees so that I have like one continuous piece here. Um, I want it to be flat in the back because this is going to hang on a door and so we don't want the pieces from the Christmas tree poking out in the back. So you're gonna move them all forward and make sure that they are fluffed out to the front. And then I took a zip tie and I'm gonna zip tie both trees together. This is also going to um, be used as the hanger for this piece. So I didn't make it super tight so that it could fit on my hanger that's on my door. Once I have that all attached, then we're ready to add a couple embellishments. I picked up these picks at Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree floral area, and I'm just going to go ahead and stick them into the floral foam inside the hat, and then we're going to kind of wrap them around the pieces of the tree. 
And again, if you wanted to make this a flocked version, you could. I was kind of running out of spray paint, so I did not make it a flocked version. But I feel like the picks kind of add like a flocked element, and so it wasn't really needed. I took this ribbon also from a Dollar General, and we're just going to do that classic fold over bow. We're going to take our uh twine and we're going to tie this one off in the middle and i wanted to show you guys like it does not give you the same look as this bow we just made by making the two pieces these become more smushed together and you don't get that really beautiful elegant look that we had in the wreath so it really kind of depends on the project you're making for the type of bow that you're making I'm gonna go ahead and attach this bow to just one piece of the tree that's in our arrangement. That way nothing is glued to this hat and we can reuse it if we want to. Once I have that on there, I'm just gonna fluff out the bow, make sure that it lays the way that I like, and then I'm going to take this bell that I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby. These are rustic looking ones. They have just regular bells as well. So if rustic is not your look, you can, get just regular silver bells. I tied two of them together on a piece of twine and I'm going to go ahead and just attach that to our piece of greenery as well. And then that is it for this project. I love the simplicity of this one and it could actually stay up for winter decor as well because there's nothing really Christmassy in here and it just gives more winter vibes. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I'm outside painting and I wanted to show you guys the neighborhood cat named Dave. <laughs> Say hi Dave. He comes by my house all the time and he just sort of now lives here <laughs> um, and we feed him and give him treats but he is the softest kitty and I think he has another family in the neighborhood somewhere but that's okay. I don't mind. I think he's adorable. I'll give you guys a little view of him here in a second. Say hi Dave. Your fans, you're gonna have some fans because you're adorable. Dave, Dave, say hi. Oh, there's Dave. We named him Dave. <laughs> we don't know what his real name is, but he's a cutie. And uh, he just, we love when he comes over, huh? So it was a nice treat to be outside painting and have a visit from Dave. For this project, we're going to take one of those candy cane wreath forms. This is a smaller candy cane wreath form. They do have larger ones, and you could do this with a larger one. You would just need more Christmas trees. So I'm going to take about two Christmas trees to fit this candy cane wreath. And the first one, I'm just going to lay down like the normal tree with all of the branches facing forward. The second one, I'm going to bend to fit my candy cane wreath. And believe it or not, these trees bend a lot easier than I thought until I had to take off this bottom piece <laughs> but you're gonna see that here in a second I I don't even know if I kept it in the video to be honest but it was some elbow grease and I finally just could not get it to come off of there and ended up just turning it so it's a fit into the wreath I'm gonna attach some of the uh, zip ties to our tree to the wreath form. That's how I'm going to keep them on here. I didn't use any hot glue here. So again, this is removable if you wanted it to be. I also think that it gives it a much better hold than hot glue would, but if all you have available is hot glue, you could glue them to the wreath form. There's a couple of areas that are sparse from our tree to our wreath form. So I took these garland ties and I just kind of added them to the wreath form, um, threading them through the back of the wreath and then tying them and fluffing them into the rest of the greenery. You could shorten them or um, to make them a little bit shorter into wherever you're putting them. Uh, that's really a personal preference, but I just kind of, I used one whole package and I think there's 10 in the package and I went throughout the wreath and just added them in different areas. I wanted this top part to be looking like a nose. So if you haven't figured out what we're making, it's going to become clear here pretty soon, but we're going to go ahead and tie a couple to the front and then weave them into the wreath form in the back. This is going to give us like a much fuller 
head part. So once we have that done, I'm gonna take two more trees and I'm going to attach them to the back. These are going to be the antlers of our reindeer. Now I seen on, I think a Facebook, and I can't remember, but somebody, I think it was a Dollar Tree, maybe crafting group, but someone was making like actual real greenery horses, uh, horse wreaths, and it gave me the idea to make this reindeer. Now I'd made a reindeer wreath before, um, but never out of the Christmas trees. So I was pretty excited to try this. I tried everything to come up with an eye that would fit really well in this greenery and I could not come up with an eye. So I tried a bell, I tried a couple other things and I just didn't like how it looked. So I left it blank. Um, I just added this really cute like vintage rustic candy cane type ribbon wreath or ribbon bow and added one of those bells into the middle. And then up at the top where his ears are, I just kind of felt like it needed a little something. So we're going to add some of those greenery picks, the ones that have the glitter on them. Um, those are the ones that you can get at Dollar Tree. I really like these ones. They're versatile and they give you a little bit of glam, but still give you a little bit more traditional Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead, glue them in there, and then I'm going to fluff them out and kind of tie them around the rest of the Christmas tree. And then I took the other picks that had the little white balls and I put those in as well. It gives it a much fuller ear section as well. That is going to be it for this portion. This is how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this one. to my mom's to use her sewing machine and she helped me out by sewing these mittens together pretty much just tacking them in the back I also asked her to add a little ribbon in the back to make a hanger I don't know what I was thinking because that was not going to be big enough to hang this on the door once I was finished but there it was and she did a fantastic job helping me out I hurried home to finish up this project and we're ready, ready to start assembling. So I took some floral foam that I had on hand and these are actual mittens that belong to one of my kids. I have several pairs and my kids are teenagers now so these do not fit and I thought this would make a really fun kind of keepsake um, decoration idea that I can keep and remember like my kids using these mittens and not just having to give them away. So I'm gonna put a piece of the floral foam into each of the mittens. I don't glue it in there or anything. You don't really need it. Um, it'll stay secure in there after you get your tree in. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick a tree into each piece of the floral foam, one tree per mitten. And I have pushed all of the tree branches to the front because this is a hanging piece that so we don't want any of the branches to be poking out in the back. Once I get my trees into my mittens, I'm then going to attach them together with a zip tie. And then this zip tie ends up being the way that I hang this on the uh, hook on my door. That way, I, I, it just didn't make sense. My little red hanger down at the bottom was definitely not going to keep my arrangement flat. And it wasn't going to look good when I hung it up. I also had these pine cones on hand. I'm pretty sure these came from Dollar General. I usually see them in a really big pack for about like $3 and they are little mini pine cones. Some of these are painted, so I think that I might have painted them at one time for another project. They were just in my stash. Um, but so some of these are a copper color and some of them are just regular pine cone color. I just randomly chose where I wanted to put them and glued them to the end of the branches. Once I had a mount that I liked onto the tree, I went ahead and moved on to a ribbon. So this is just a super crisscross ribbon and I'm using some twine in the middle to tie off the bow. This pine cone ribbon also came from Dollar General. And like I said earlier, I love Dollar General Ribbon. They have such pretty patterns and they it, it's pretty affordable. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the pine cones, glue it into the middle of our ribbon. 
I also had this berry pick. I think this also came from Dollar General. It had seen better days. It'd been in my stash for a while. I cut it all apart and I'm just going to stick it into the arrangement. Now, I liked the color of these berries. They're a darker color. So they kind of gave me more of a forest vibe. And since my mittens came from Maine and my, my ribbon is kind of rustic looking, I thought that that was just really a nice compliment to this but we're going to attach our bow and that is it for this project you guys let me know what you think of this one project I'm going to show you in a couple different ways. I took a three dollar tree Christmas trees this time and we're going to go ahead and attach them with zip ties. So I fluffed all of the trees to the front and left the back just one solid piece like the pole in the back and then I put the poles together and then I zip tied them together. So you're getting a much fuller tree instead of just using one dollar tree tree. Even two dollar tree trees can be kind Kind of sparse depending on the tree. So for this project all we're going to do use a couple zip ties tie them together and then I had this cute basket on hand I decided to just go ahead put my tree in the basket. I do go outside spray this for some flock to look and the first idea is just to leave it like that as a decoration piece. I know I've seen these at Hobby Lobby for quite a pretty penny and you could make this for at least half the price. To give this tree a little bit more pizzazz, I'm going to use these cookie cutters that I picked up at the DI. I picked them up for $3, but then I noticed on the package that they were $4.99 at Ross, so it wasn't a huge savings, but you can also pick up cookie cutters at Dollar Tree, so if you can't find them or you feel like that's too much, you can find some cookie cutters at Dollar Tree. I'm using some red and white baker's twine to tie them onto the tree. These are not glued on, so they are removable. And we're just going to attach them kind of like a baking tree. This would be really cute if you had extra space in your kitchen. I have this ledge that goes from my kitchen to the dining room, so I might put this on the ledge for Christmas time. I have this really cute candy cane ribbon that has like a really cute blue color in it, also from Dollar General. And then I had these candy canes that I thought I would just kind of randomly add. I also thought some cinnamon sticks would look cute on this tree, which I might go back and add at a later date. But we just went ahead, added these candy canes, and then I added a few little picks that I had. These are pit berry picks. They are red and white. I just cut them apart and I stuck them randomly into the tree. And that was it for this project. Let me know what you think of this one. I think it's super cute and just simple, but elegant at the same time. That is it for today's video. I hope you're leaving today with tons of ideas and possibilities for these mini Christmas trees. And I hope that you are gonna go out and do some crafting with them right now. Let me know down in the comments what project you're planning to make with those mini Christmas trees. If you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that like button, subscribe, so you never miss another video. If you wanna keep crafting with me, check out these videos next. There are tons of holiday inspiration in these videos. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!